I want to introduce you to the special male in my life. He is just under two feet tall, covered in orange and yellow fur, and yes, he is a cat. His name is Kit Kat, and technically he is my roommate's cat, but I love him as if he was my own. Kit Kat came into my friend Kelly's life about nine years ago. He was a stray that we had seen many times climbing in and out of the ditch in her front yard. We think he was sleeping in the culvert. One day this skinny, somewhat dirty cat came up to us when we were on the porch. Kelly petted him on him a little while and decided she needed to give him something to eat. I told her not to because then she would have a cat all the time. She looked at me and said, but he's starving. I can't let him starve. So she got him some food and then she bought some cat food and started feeding him outside every day. She now had an outside cat. One day she noticed that the birds were enjoying the food that Kit Kat had not eaten so she decided she would bring him inside to let him eat and then put him back outside. Then it started getting cold at night, and she said she did not want him to be cold, so she would bring him in the house at night and let him outside during the day. When winter came, he became an indoor cat for good. He still wanted to go outside, but since it was so cold, Kelly kept him inside. For the first year of Kit Kat's life, he was called a her because we both thought he was a girl. The poor cat did not have a name for the first three months he was with Kelly because she was afraid it would turn out he was someone else's cat and she would have to give him up. When it was determined he was definitely a stray and out he does not like to ride in the car. He cries and yells in his kennel every time we have to take him somewhere. About three years ago, Kit Kat got really sick and started losing weight quickly. We rushed him to the vet where he was diagnosed with diabetes. Everything had to change now. Kit Kat could only be fed so much food at certain times of the day and had to receive insulin shots twice a day. We could no longer leave food and go on trips because of his new schedule. We had to have friends come over and feed and give him his shots if we were going to be gone a few days, and he had his own cat sitter if we were going to be gone a week. We learned that he definitely did not like going to a kennel and being taken care of, so we spoiled the kitty and got him a cat sitter. Because of his long hair, as it is a normal process for cats, Kit Kat would sometimes get fur balls and be sick. This became a problem with his diabetes because when he got sick, he was not getting all the food he needed to keep his sugar up. So at least every six months, we now had to get him shaved to help prevent him getting sick. He was so cute the first time he got shaved and looked like a little lion. Last year, an amazing thing happened. We took Kit Kat to the vet because he had had a fainting spell and found out that his pancreas had started working again and he was no longer diabetic. Kit Kat has always been a lovable cat, somewhat demanding when he wants attention, but he knows when you don't feel good or are having a bad day, and will come up to you and love on you or just lay at your feet as if saying, I'm here, it's not so bad. He can make a bad day good just by watching him play and enjoy life. I hope you have not been too bored while I introduce the special male in my life to you.